my name is Seth Kweku Bani and today I'm going to show you how to design this. So guys follow me let's go into Photoshop let's start with today's tutorial and so let's go here this is the flyer I'm going to create create a new over here and then let's put this dimension in there we are going to use 2000 pixels 2000 pixels pixels over here let's call it mother's day flyer and then let's set it to 72 rgb here 8 bit here let's leave it at color white and then click on create also i would like to go to view and i'll go to new guide layout and then i'll set it to four here four here and then one 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 over here um that's basically it click on ok now we are done with our grades and our layout and our stuff let's start with the background with the background i would like to go here and then let me pick this image drag it into photoshop and then just release it and then maybe i'll drag this to the end over here drag this side hold shift and then increase it like that somewhere like this then i'll bring it here all right something like this i think is great all right now i want to cut here a little bit and so what i'll do is i'll pick this magic wand and i'll click somewhere here um, select it nicely like that uh, maybe click over here and then click here as well you know select all those stuff over here and then i would um, right click it and then click on select inverse where is it select inverse click on select and mask over here um depending on the, on the level of photoshop you are using you might have you know quite interesting options as well so i'll set the transparency to 100 the radio somewhere around here let's see around two and then the global refinement let me let me see drag it down a little bit to around maybe 19 and then the contrast let me see okay so the shift edge up a little bit but I can play around with the contrast a little bit let's click on decontaminate and then new layer with layer mask remember settings and then okay now we are going to use this let's right click it and convert to smart object and then this one let's delete this one and so we are going to use this let's give it a new layer click on your brush tool all right hold out and pick any of the um pink colors over there make sure your caps log is off all right and then reduce it a little bit click around here forehead there nice go over here and then let's set it to linear dodge over here like that nice all right let's increase it more and drag it like that and then perhaps let's decrease the size over here to 50 percent so now you can see some light casting over there on the face of the woman and then here as well i like the effect over there um we could duplicate it and then also bring over here as well it gives it a very nice feel i love that i love the effect it is creating sweet so the next thing we are going to do is bring our um love you know wallpaper there and then let's increase it now you want it to hit here um let's say somewhere here and then just increase it like that also let's drag it beneath the ladies over here and then let's see how it looks like sweet now you could also take notice i like to keep it in the middle of the line over here because i'll be using that line later on let's duplicate this again and then let's 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 drag it somewhere here let's give it full size okay so so you can see this uh brightness you know <laughs> brighten effect over here uh it's all it all adds to the effect it all makes it nicer all right so maybe you could reduce it a little bit more okay so that is it let's pick our text tool and then let's maybe drag from here to here something like that and then let's go and then let's pick this message remember i'm going to leave all the resources in the description for you guys i'm going to do that and so let's pick from here hold shift click here put it in the group let's call it bg 
and then this one um what color should i give it let's click on here let's click here and then let's give it one c zero one zero one let's give it that color and then also um let's see we are going to use um tempo's headline this is it sweet and then we are going to use medium over here and then let's set the size over here to 45 great and then over here let's set it to 50 great and then um the tracking here to zero and then that is basically it that is basically in i also want to zoom in and then let's see double click it and then let's push it here like that okay so that's it so you can see there's no hyphen over here that is how i want you to get it nice now Control t and then let's keep it also in the middle over here you can see it's in the middle over here and then let's pick our rectangular tool and let's draw a thin line like that like that double click it and let's give it color black Control t and then let's move it to the middle as well um give it some few gaps duplicate it and bring it down oh click on your move to hold shift and then bring it down as well uh let's zoom out let's see put it in a group let's call it message and then perhaps bring it down a little more awesome and then maybe let's also bring in our logo in case you have a company logo or your brand logo you might want to drop it in there ctrl t let's keep it centered or middle aligned because that's what we are doing right now you can see everything is middle aligned from here all the way through so let's keep it like that double click here and let's give it a definite color click here and then we are going to give it one c um zero one zero one right and then click on okay and then okay and then maybe you would like to add our signature to it that's if you have a digital signature or a soft copy signature you might want to drop it in there also i'm going to use um questario just going to pretend that is my signature and then i'm going to push it up here uh maybe let's click here let's type swash swash all right so let's use any of this uh then let's type maybe w all right so let's increase it and then rotate it and let's push it somewhere here Maybe let's give it a different let's give it q let's see no let's give it w let's see f all right so let's use f let's use f over there let's drag it somewhere here and then maybe rotate it a little bit more all right so let's say that's my signature all right now let's put it in a group and then let's call it sign the next thing we also want to do is um, some few details over here as well then we are pretty much done so let's create something like this awesome double click here and let's give it a color let's give it 6e 010c sweet and then okay now you also want to drag it down a little bit more just to give it some space you know there's a space over here let's give it a little space over here as well and then i think this is awesome let's type over here and let's go here and let's pick this uh your social media handle goes there so let's drag it in here like that and then we are going to use montserrat for it let's use montserrat for that great montserrat for it and then we are going to keep it regular here let's keep the font size six three oh so i'm tracking zero over here let's click here let's set it to color white now you can see it now you can see it and then you also want to keep it maybe in the middle here awesome um let's drag it somewhere here we'll deal with the alignment later on and the organizing okay now I'll duplicate it and then i'll drag it somewhere here okay and then i would um come over here and then pick the telephone number and then i'll go back there double click it and paste it there now i like to drag hold shift and drag it over there 
and then um let's open our character over here now with the telephone number we are still using monster right but let's make it extra bold sweet right and then a tracking tool let's keep it like this in fact let's go here and pick our rectangle out tool and then let's draw a rectangle for it that is it double click it and let's make it color white now I click over here on the number here let's go here let's change it to this color and then let's drag the rectangle down beneath it now let's oh let's zoom in let's zoom in um now the rectangle let's position it here it needs to hit here awesome and then the telephone number let's try and keep it in the middle of everything both sides in the middle of it like that um awesome awesome let's zoom out a little bit okay now let's bring this over here like that sweet now let's select the three of them ctrl t and then um, let's zoom out okay let's bring it in the middle of this line sweet that way there's equal spacing over here there's equal spacing over here there's equal spacing over here and there's equal spacing over here so you see how the graphic design is is um, just a few principles you need to obey and then you are pretty much done and so guys this could have been it but then we can still give it more oof all right now i can see a lot of space over here and a little space over here doesn't make it look cool doesn't make it look nice let's put this in the group and let's call it um lower text so what we can do is click on the message over here and the sign over here and drag it up a little bit until we have um you know at least an illusion of equal space over here equal space over here and then uh, it gives it a more nicer feel and then let's go to our gradient map you know we can't end with the gradient map let's double click here and then let's give it one three zero e one eight okay now this itself is quite nice already but um let's try our hands some more things let's click over here and then we are going to choose six six three eight four four awesome and then we are going to click here let's double click it and then let's choose a66 c72 nice and we are going to click here and then we are going to set it to e9 b1 b0 great and then over here let's double click it and then we are going to choose f d c d c b awesome let's click here and let's click here now let's click here and let's set it to soft light awesome now you can decrease it to a level that you think is appropriate for you and then with that you are done for the day and so guys if you love this video please hit the bell icon and subscribe to this channel as well and don't forget i love you all see you in the next video peace